We're less than two weeks away from the kickoff of the 2022 Idaho legislative session. It's a major election year, so we're expecting major developments at the state house. Ahead of the session, we're checking in with Democrats and Republicans about their goals and their hopes for the session. We start today in Idaho with the Democrats on the House side. Our Joe Paris spoke with Assistant Minority Leader Democrat Laura Nekachea for insight. As we approach the 2022 legislative session, Idaho lawmakers are laying out their goals for the year. Idaho Democrats say they have two major topics in mind. Education and addressing property taxes for homeowners. We need to restore fairness so that homeowners aren't asked to share an increasing um, piece of the load while commercial property tax owners are paying less and less each year. I think those two are our, our big priorities, education and property taxes. Democrat Representative Laura Nekochea is the Assistant Minority Leader in the Idaho House. She says reflecting on 2021 really sets the stage for 2022. We did not do what we needed to do this last session when it comes to property taxes specifically. In May, Idaho Governor Brad Little signed property tax relief legislation, but said after signing, quote, I fear the long-term consequences may outweigh this temporary reprieve. I believe we can do more to address this growing problem. Representative Nekochea says she too has heard from Idahoans about their frustrations with their work to fix skyrocketing property taxes. I, I continue to get emails from seniors who are very concerned. They want to be able to age in place and they can't do that with this tax shift that keeps coming. And we Democrats had a bipartisan bill to increase property tax assistance for seniors. We could not get a hearing on that bill. Idaho Democrats say they are prepared with new legislation to take on the property tax burden Idaho homeowners and families face while also promoting the growth of Idaho's middle class. These tax cuts for working families that Democrats are promoting are not just popular, they're very good for the economy. When you put dollars into the hands of middle class families, they get car repairs, they get their hair cut, they buy groceries, they spend those dollars in their local economies. Nekochea says she's optimistic about accomplishing major legislation in the education arena. I am hopeful that we can finally do things that Democrats have been asking for and promoting for a long time, like funding full day kindergarten. We have a patchwork of haves and have nots across the state. And we know that when it comes to early literacy skills, we know that um, full day kindergarten really helps get kids reading on time. With a large state surplus, Idaho lawmakers will debate where millions of dollars could go. Idaho Dems believe there are enough resources to pass meaningful legislation on property tax and education. We can fund a balanced approach of increasing education and a package of tax credits that helps working families, um, such as increasing the child tax credit and making sure that families of every income level can access the full value, not just the top earners. 